evening everyone and welcome here to Boris Lee for the County Under 12 Group 2 semi-final between Mine Tempatui and Silver Mines teams are lining out as follows. For first from Mine in goals Paddy Eli, 2 Mary Kate, 3 Leo Clear, 4 Jack Redden, 5 Abby Davy, 6 Rogan Lyons, 7 Dennis Brolin, 8 Connor Campion, 9 Chris Dunn, 10 Mark Campion, 11 uh, Andrew Everett and our two substitutes to come on at half time then are Joey Dial and Jack Hill um, Silver Mines line out as follows in goal number one Robert Ryan two Mark Hoare three Daniel McKelvey who captains the side four Jack Quirk Jones five Charlie Moran six Owen Gray seven Roisin Ryan eight Paul Shanahan nine Ethan Connolly ten Connor Ryan and eleven Jimmy Timmons and their two subs Connor Ryan wears twelve and Colin Whelan wears thirteen our referee for today's game is Tom McGrath from Lochmore Castellani and we'll be good to go now in the next three or four minutes. So here we're waiting for Tom McGrath to toss the ball. Giant captains going up there, Leo Clear and Mary Kate Eli from Mine Temple 2 and Daniel McKelvey for Silver Mines wearing number three. Thank <laughs> you. 
So just waiting on Tom McGrath to throw in the ball, making his final adjustments. He must be writing an, an essay out there in the middle of the field. And we're off. Game is on. And it's first long high ball in there by straight in from the puck out. And it's a goal for Silver Mines. Came in number six, Owen Grace. Long ball in. And in the back of the net. So goal to no score to Silver Mines. Game on. 15, 15 seconds. So long ball down by Paddy down there. Connor Campion. Ball is with Jack Redden. Jack Redden strikes, puts the ball in. Low. Out, out comes Andrew Everett. Andrew. First touch is good, he, sw he swings around, goes to go, needs to pass it off, goes for his own shot. Mark Campion then, good save by the goalie, Ro Robert Ryan, Mark, Mark Campion puts pressure on him, ball now with, with Dennis Bowling, great ball in by Dennis Bowling, and number four knocks it out for Jack Kirk Jones, falls out for a 65. Good open attack there by, by Mind Temple 2 after conceding the early goal, so score at the moment is a goal to no score. And now we come for the 65. So Chris Dunn coming out on the 65 yard line here, being shown where to put it by the referee Tom McGrath. So this would be a good response following the early goal, the concession of the goal by Owen Grace in the puck out or from the from the throw in. So Chris lifts, Chris strikes, and just to the right and wide. So wide ball score remains, a goal to no score, minute and a half gone in the clock. So, number three, Daniel McKelvey, the team captain, taking the puck out instead of Robert Ryan. Daniel will find big strong lad, strikes the ball, strikes the ball, fierce long, straight down the field. Leo Clear goes up to attack the ball. Good first touch there by Owen Grace again. Owen Grace, I'd say, will be the danger man all day, but just to the right and wide. So, Paddy Eli now in the Mind Temple 2 we goal. Paddy, equally good, strong puck out down, looking for... Uh, Dennis Brolin, Dennis Shadows, number four, Jack Quirk Jones again, Jack takes him on, Dennis looks for it, finds number eight, Paul Shanahan in the middle of the field, Paul puts the ball in, battle there between Leo and the number ten, Connor Ryan, but Connor Ryan knocks the ball down to number six, Owen Grace, and Owen again to the right and wide, so score remains a goal to no score, two and a half minutes gone, so Paddy Eli the ball again, down, looks for Rogan Lyons, great puck out, Rogan, doesn't get it initially but fights back but doesn't get it Connor Campion now Connor on the ball coming down in, in front of us here Connor puts two hands needs to put two hands hurry doesn't flicks the ball in number five here now for Silvermine strikes puts the ball in Charlie Moore number 10 inside is Connor Ryan Connor doesn't surely push in the back Jack Redden done very well to get back there put himself in between the man and free out so a goal to no score Silvermine's lead so Leo Clear, giant captain Leo Clear, puck out down towards Dennis Brolin. Dennis doesn't get there, number seven. Oshin Ryan knocks out a play for a uh, mind table two line ball. So Dennis Brolin on the ball on the far side, looking for looking for someone. Dennis, good cut by Dennis, but only goes as far as number seven, Connor or Oshin Ryan. 
Oshin is blocked down there by Chris Dunn, but Oshin gets it back again and in the ball comes in. Lee, Leo Clear does very well, puts the hurley up, gets there. Ball is struck across. And Dennis Brawl now at the ball. Dennis needs to find somebody. Dennis strikes the ball down to, to the middle, looking for Rogan lines. Rogan unlucky that time, doesn't get there, but ball fast number six again. Owen Grace, Owen Grace, as I said, the danger man. Puts the ball in and wide again. So that's the third wide for Silvermine. Score remains a goal to no score after four minutes. So Paddy lie with the puck out, Paddy coming down this side here in front of Rogan Lines. Rogan goes up with the hand, doesn't get there, but Chris Dunn comes in behind and Chris gets the ball. Abby Davy does well and pulls first time on the ball. And whoever sticks in and gets the ball, flicks it around him, but doesn't come up from the second time round. And the ball is struck in. Number 10 again, Conor Ryan comes in, Oshin and Conor Ryan. Communication there didn't happen between Leo and Paddy. Conor Ryan snuck in behind for a goal, so two goals to no score. At the moment, Paddy Eli again with the puck out, comes down this wing here. And up goes number seven, Oshin Ryan. The ball breaks, past Mary Kate. Number 10, Connor Ryan strikes the ball in front of Leo Clear, up and over the, the bar for their first point of the game. 2 1 to no score. So, Paddy Eli now with the, the puck out, down the far side looking for Connor Campion. Connor Campion doesn't get there, Jack Redden tackles. Number six, Owen Grace, Owen out in the far wing, well hooked there by Conor Campion. Leo Clear comes out to the ball, Leo. Leo flicks the ball, does well, d d does enough. Mary Kate now tackling Jimmy Timmons inside Jimmy. Pass the ball out, but Leo Clear back there to, to read the danger, and Leo strikes, but blocked down in the middle. So Abby Davy does well, Abby nearly gets up on, on her first occasion, but doesn't. Ball spills out there to Paul Shanahan, Paul Shanahan now has it. Number 10 there. Paddy Eli comes out with the goals, good man Paddy, Paddy shepherds it away and does well. So Leo Clear now comes out this side trying to get the ball off number 10, Conor Ryan. Conor Ryan puts a good score in and up and over the bar. So 2-2 two, two to no score. Six minutes nearly gone. On the so Paddy Eli again with the puck out over the far side, number 6 to Owen Grace. Gets it to Paul Shanahan, Paul back to, to Owen Grace, Jack Redden now tracking back. Jack goes for the block, doesn't get there, and wide ball, wide the right hand side. So wide ball, score remains 2-2 two, two to no score in favour of Silvermines. Strong Sun now out there, so Paddy Lai comes down the stand side here in Boris Lee. Dennis Brolin goes, the ball doesn't get there, Abby Davy comes back a second time. And Mary Kate, Mary Kate Eli does superbly well and bursts out with the ball here in front of us. Mary Kate comes down close to us here and Mary Kate pulls in the ball very well. So it's a mind temple two ball. And a mind temple two ball it is. So Dennis Brawl in here with the, the sideline ball right in front of us here. So Dennis does well, looks for Jack Red in front of him, doesn't get there. Abby Davy now here fighting for the ball. Abby does very well, gets stuck in there. Dennis Brawl on again the ball. Dennis has the ball. Dennis turns and strikes down the line as far as Chris Dunn. Chris tried to control it, didn't happen, and uh, Silvermine's line ball. So Charlie Moore here with the sideline ball. Chris Dunn standing, placed well in front of it. Goes to the ball, doesn't go long. And the ball down past Mary Kate Eli. Leo Clear comes out there. Leo doesn't get the block on. Man inside, sixes again is Owen Grace. Owen Grace hits the post. I think Paddy Eli nudged up onto the post, up and over the bar. 2 3 to no score. So Paddy Eli down this side here, down in front of us again, down as far as Chris Dunn. Chris just misjudges the flight of the ball and nearly gets a block in. So the ball back into the far corner again, down near corner Ryan. Leo Clear comes across trying to get the block. Ball is across the field there, Connor Campion and Jack Redden both fighting to get it, neither of them get it though, and number six, well great save by Paddy Eli in the goal, Paddy Cam the collective and takes the ball in hand and strikes it long, great save there by Paddy Eli from Owen Grace, ball is now with Jack Quirk Jones, and Tom McGrath deems it too many steps and a mind tipple to E3, so Rogan lines on very well there, put him under serious pressure and the ball goes for a free for mind tipple to E3, so Chris Dunn, comes across 
So scores 2-3 to no score, eight and a half minutes gone here in the first half in Boris Lee. In the county under 12 group two semi-final. So Chris Dunn lifts, strikes, hide ball in. Needs to be blocked, it did. Andrew Ever does very well, blocks the ball, keeps it in play. And the goalie is spinning around inside, does very well. Ball comes out as far as Mark Campion, but Mark doesn't get there. And number six, Owen Grace again. Owen opens his shoulders and strikes long. That's a, a good score by Owen Grace. 2-4 to no score. Owen Grace gets on the ball there quite quickly from that, from that free. So, water break. We're in we go for the water break. Score is currently 2 4 to no score in favour of in favour of Silver Mines, Mind Temple Tuido, Paddy Eli with a great save in the goals. Two four to nothing. So restart now with Padilla in the in the goals. We'll restart our clock with nine and a half or ten and a half minutes to go. Paddy Light, long ball over the far side of the field. Great puck out again by Paddy. Down as far as Chris Dunn. Chris doesn't get it done. It goes as far as number six, Owen Grace. Owen Grace strikes it in. Leo Clear is there to cover the danger. But the ball will just trickle out wide and wide again for uh, Silver Mines. So Paddy Light again with the restart. So Paddy like great, great puck out again down this side of the field. Number nine there, uh, Ethan Connolly gets in, but well dispossessed by Abby Davy Mary Kate Eli does very well there. And Dennis Ball now on the ball. Dennis turns and strikes and puts it down the field. Five is Charlie Moore comes out there, passes it out to Owen Grace. Long high ball in there. Leo clear slightly off his man. Number 10 does very well. Connor and keeps it in touch. And a 65 ball trickled out for a 65. Two four to no score still. Just over 10 minutes gone in the opening half. So, on Grace. On just to the right and wide, so number six there on Grace. Right, my two four to no score, the score remains. Ten, nearly 11 minutes gone in the first half here. High ball up, doesn't get anywhere though. Mary Katie Light does very well and comes out in front of her man. Chris done there, back forward, and then Chris has the ball, and Chris takes his steps and barges out and does super well. Great ball in by Chris Dunn in as far as Mark Campion. Mark Campion is inside, put him under pressure, and he does. Mark Campion. Work hard, good lad Mark does very well there. Comes out for Dennis Ball and Dennis now has time. Ball just bounces off his hands at a really long time. Six is own grace in as far as number 10. Connor Ryan, Connor pulls in the ball as far as Paddy Lido. Good save again by Paddy. And Paddy threw up the ball to kill the ball and it was blocked down by Connor Ryan. And another goal for Silvermine. So three. So three, four to no score. So, 
ball now with Chris Dunn. Chris Dunn puts a great ball in there. Rogan Lyons running onto it. Jack Redden there too. But doesn't happen. Comes out again. So Connor Camping getting into the ball. And Paul Shannon over there. Connor does very well. Sticks in and looks. For, he needs somebody. He sees Dennis Brolin making a run in front of him. Dennis does that. Dennis does very well. Has the ball still. Dennis goes to strike. Puts a great ball in there. Mark Camping. And a great ball there by Dennis Brolin. Super score by Dennis. Dennis long ball in there. Mark Camping did enough to put off the goalie. And the score is now 3 4 to a goal. Super response there by Mind Temple to be showing that they can that they can hurl. So puck out here now for Silver Mines number three, Daniel McKelvey on the ball. So and he opens the shoulders, long, 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 long ball down the field. And Connor Ryan on the ball, and the ball bounces through. And another goal for Another goal for Silvermind. 4-4 four, four to a goal. Ball came from a long puck out down and didn't happen. So, ball is there on the ground. Chris Dunn gets in there. Chris does very well. And Chris wins the free. And the ball is there. So, Chris Dunn does very well. Wins his free. Super work by Chris. 13 minutes gone here in Bursley. 4-4 four, four to a goal to Silvermind. Chris Dunn now on a free. Another score will help settle, settle things down a bit. Chris puts the ball in. And it just out to the right and out to the left hand side and wide. So, puck out here. We know he has a big long puck out. Does Daniel McKelvey and he goes long once again. Six is back with Owen Grace. Owen turns, strikes and to the right and wide. So, the big long puck out there from Daniel McKelvey is causing problems between three, six and ten. Seems to be the three danger men. So Paddy Eli again with another super super puck out down the field finds Connor Campion. Connor nearly took it off and doesn't. And again Owen turns right and wide. So Paddy Eli again with the puck out comes down this side of the field down in front of us. Dennis Brolin and Dennis Brolin does very well. Somehow gets his hand on the ball and does very very well. Dennis puts the ball in there looking for Jack Redden. The ball doesn't come to Jack. Jack. Trying to get in for the block, doesn't get there either. Dennis Brolin again does very well. Connor, Connor Camping gets a great, a vital block on the ball. Ball is back out with Jack Redden. Connor Camping whips in the ball inside. Ball is still there. Jack Redden, well done, Jack Redden. Jack Redden bursts away the ball. He has a couple of people in front of him as well. But the ball just didn't go to hand and the ball comes back down the field just as fast. So Leo Clear now against 10 Connor Ryan. Leo Clear does superly to get the ball away and wins the ball, but the ball only comes out as far as. And another good point there as well. Point by Oshin Ryan, number seven. Score is 4 5 to a goal. 15 minutes gone, five minutes to go to the break. Paddy Eli again with another long puck out down the field. Connor camping in there. Connor fighting, needs a bit of support. It comes there in the, in the shape of Jack Redden. Six on the ball again. Six goals. Not a damage. Leo Clear this time very clever. Goes to get the ball but misses the ball. Comes through. Paddy Eli does extremely well. Paddy comes out with a super pull on the ground. Now as far as Dennis Ball. Dennis very courageous goes into that tackle. Dennis stays going. Great ball by Dennis. Just gets to the full back Daniel McKelvey. And the ball comes out. So now Connor camping on the ball. Connor bends. Needs to put two hands in the hurley to get the ball up. And does. Gets the ball up. Turns. Strikes. Comes in, looking for Chris Dunn, doesn't get there, Jack Redden. Jack has the ball, but the ball spills back out to, Cr to Chris, both have blue helmets over there. And the ball back up the field, so acres of space there for number eight, Paul Shanahan and Silver Mines. Uh, Rogan Lines tr tracking back, Shanahan goes across the face of goal. Uh, the super stuff by Paddy Eli, great catch by Paddy Eli in the mind of the two goal. Out to Abby Davy. Abby does very well. Dennis Brolin in there now to give him a hand. Uh, Abby, well done Abby. Abby gets the ball, whips it away. And the ball comes across out this side. A foot race now between Dennis Brolin and the number nine, Ethan Connolly. Ethan gets this one. Dennis goes to the block, doesn't get there. Leo clear this time, has the ball, turns the strikes, gets the clearance away. Now Chris Dunn comes out here. And a great battle there between Chris Dunn and Daniel McKelvey. Dunn gets stuck in. Dunn comes out with the ball. But Chris Dunn does extremely well. Well done Chris. Chris, long high ball in there for the Mark Campion. Mark Campion doesn't get the ball, goes to hook, it's a half a hook on the ball. 
ball now with Daniel McKelvey, the Silver Mines captain. Great block down there by Chris Dunn. Chris teams up with Dennis Brawl and Jack Redden now on the ball. Chris Dunn gives the ball off him. Needs a bit of support. Does well. Jack Redden doesn't get up in his hands just yet. Owen Grace again on the ball. Owen takes off but drops the ball. Jack now putting him under pressure. Needs to get the block. Dustin Owen half hits it high in the air. Two of them go for the area. Shannon has the ball. Fixes over Connor Campion's head. Connor goes to block him. Doesn't get the hook and up and over the bar. So 4 6 to a goal in favour of Silvermine. 17 minutes gone. Tom McGrath looking for the ball to be fucked out again. He wasn't ready. So Paddy Eli now. On the ball, Paddy comes down the stand side here and Burr's sleeves. We're all well, well accustomed for this stage. Abby Davy does super. Drops the ball though at the wrong time, but fights back in and doing a super job there is Abby Davy. Well done, Abby. Abby fights hard for the ball. Nearly gets the block on Dustin. Leo clear bounces in. And the ball trickles out wide from number seven, Oshin Ryan. So Paddy Eli again with the puck out, comes back down this side again. Dennis Boland puts up the hurley. Needs to flick it on, Dustin flicks it on. But the Silver Mines fix it on. Leo goes out to get the ball and misses it this time. Leo has no hurley now, needs to get some sort of a block. Goes to block and Paddy Eli does very well. They're a great save by Paddy in the goals. And Paddy strikes down the field. Only as far as Silver Mines, Paul Shanahan, Connor Campion looking for the, for the hook. High ball in by Paul, but back for the free. Tom McGrath saw a free over the far side. For the super catch there by um, Paddy Eli under a bit of pressure inside in the goal. But well done. So 18 and a half minutes gone here in the first half. Scores 4-6 to a goal in favour of Silvermines. The North team proving to be a small bit stronger at the moment, but again, only the first half. So free in here for Silvermines on the eight, on the 19th minute exactly. Ball lift struck. And it's a good point, yeah. Umpires are happy. And up and over the bar. So a good score there by um, 4 7 to a goal. I make it. Puck out down the field again. Looking for Chris Dunn. Chris, super block over there by Chris. Chris does very well. Doesn't get the. Yeah. Owen Grace adjudicated to push Connor or to charge in front of Connor Campion. So, ball over there now with Connor. Connor going to take the free himself that he won. So, nearly there for half time. Connor lifts, strikes, long ball in, looking for Rogan lines. Rogan flicks the ball, does very well there. Does Rogan lines. Rogan gets on, tries to get over the second time, doesn't get there. Ball is, is in the rook. Rogan, second time. Jack Redden now fighting Don Grace. Owen Grace gets the ball away. Down comes the field. Leo Clear comes out to it now. Leo does very well this time. Good touch. Gets the ball up. And Leo comes out through the tackle. Leo does very well. Leo strikes in there, but to a, a sea of blue, but might not be able to do enough. Mark Campion in there, cousin. And Paul Shanahan out in front of Connor Campion. Connor goes, put the ball out in front of number four. It's a foot race now between Jack Quirk Jones and Dennis Brolin. Dennis won't give in too easily, as we know. And Dennis keeps him out and does very well. Dennis goes to hook, does a great hook. Ball comes across the square. Mary Kate Eli has it, but Paddy leaves it to her, to her younger brother, Paddy. And Paddy strikes the ball away. Abby Davy out here, the far side. And that sees the end of the half. So, score here at half time. Mind able to be a goal. Silver Mines 4 7.
So second half here in Boris Lee. Um, score line there is 4-7 to a goal. I think my microphone was off there for a bit of that half, but anyway. Two subs got in there at half time. Joey Dial. Joey Dial has got on as a jackal file. And in there and off comes Rogan Lyons and Mark Hampton. So there are two half time substitutions. And we're ready to go again here for So, 20 more minutes of hurling to go. Anything is possible at this age group. So we're ready to go here. Start the second half. Score, as I said, Silver Mines 4 7. Mind Table 2 a goal. Just waiting on Tom McGrath to, to throw in the ball. All counted and good to go. Four seven, yeah. And again, it's back on again. Ball now with Dennis Ball. Dennis middle of the field puts the ball in there. In as far as Chris Dunn. Chris Dunn does super. Super catch and turn by Chris Dunn to open and score there to Mind Table 2. 4 7 to 1 1. 15 seconds gone in the first half. Number three again, long puck out there is Daniel McKelvey. Long puck out, comes down the field. Ball just slips in past. Half blocked down there by Jack Redden. Ball comes out there, Dennis goes for hook number 12. 10 goes to bat and the ball doesn't get her. Paddy Eli does very well. Paddy was injured in the process there as well. Paddy, Paddy Eli down inside, Connor Campy now on the ball. And the ball blown up, Paddy Eli down, injured on the ground. So eventually the whistle was blown there. Paddy Light took a hard tackle in that last play. And will be a throw ball, I'd imagine. Paddy lies back up again. Paddy having a stormer there uh, in the goals. So, throw ball over here the far side of the field. Turn on the whistle blow. And a free out. Free out is the award. Score still remains 4 7 to 1 1. So, Connor Campin with the free. Connor drives the ball long down the field. Down as far as Andrew. Andrew lets the ball slip in behind him. Needs to get there quickly. Dustin Owen Graves now on the ball. Owen turns, strikes the ball up here. Connor Campion back up the field. Connor does very well. Puts a hurry to the ball, gets the ball in hand, and turns and strikes a block down in the middle of the tackle. And Connor does very well to get and blown and a free and a free in from Mind Temple to it. So Connor Campion done very well that time. So high ball in Connor Campion, delivering it in. Jack Redden comes out there, Jack needs to get over the ball, Jack bends his back, Jack now has the ball, turns, dinks, does very well, dinks back in, but nobody inside, the full back there, McKelvey, opens his shoulder, it's a big long ball down, Leo Clear goes out to get the ball, misses it but wins it back, so works hard there, done. Jack Redden has the ball with Conor Ryan, does very well, and the ball though, unfortunately comes in and in, into the back of the net, 5-7 to 1-1. 
three and a half minutes gone here in the second half in Varsity. So, long ball down there, down as far as Connor Camping. Connor puts up the hand, gets the ball into Jack Red, and Jack's turned over the tackle, plays the ball back in there, Andrew Everett inside. Andrew doesn't get it, but comes out as far as Jack. As far as Jack Redden, but Jack strikes right and wide. So score five seven one one. Ball now with the Silver Mines full back. Daniel McKelvey long long ball down the field. Oshin Ryan on the ball, plenty of time and space. Ball goes into number twelve there. The half time substitution. Connor Ryan and ball has been waved wide there. Pat McGrath saying wide ball. So. High ball down here by Paddy Eli down in front of the stand. Chris Dunn rises, doesn't get the ball. And Leo Clear comes out. Leo tackling. 10 opens it. And back for the free. So Leo had your man foul. Tom had an advantage on. Connor Ryan struck and wide. So back for the initial free. So, 10 up strikes, up and over the bar, 5-8 to 1-1. One, one. So, Paddy Lyad, another good puck out over the far side of the field, finds Connor Campion, great puck out by Paddy. Connor plays the ball right across the field here to Dennis Brolin. Dennis doesn't get a first time, we're going to win it back the second time. Jack Red and Chris Dunn in there fighting along with Dennis Bolin, looking for the ball from the rook. They don't get it out of the rook. Number five, Charlie Moore, and does Charlie, but well dispossessed by Jack Gilfile. Jack Gilfile does super work inside there. And the ball blocked down by Jack Gilfile. Jack does super. And another great block in there by Jack Gilfile. Jack has two super blocks by Jack Gilfile, his older brother Carl winning the county final earlier on today. And Silver Mines kicked the ball out in front of the ball. Strikes down as far as Connor Campion. Connor gets the ball in the hand eventually. Comes across the field. Puts the ball in high. Great high ball in. Jack Redden didn't get it, but it doesn't. Ball is batted out there. And a great high ball down here in front of Abby Davy. Abby, Abby does well. Abby gets in enough in the ball to push the ball out in front of her. And Abby and Connor Ryan fighting here. Abby gets a hand in the ball. Jack Ilfile comes across. Jack looking to get a block on the ball. Jack Quirk Jones opens up, Paddy Eli does well, good save by Paddy Eli in the goals. And the ball drops and into the goals, 6 8 to 1 1. So, long ball down the field this end here, Paddy Eli down as far looking for Chris Dunn. Chris nearly gets the block in, doesn't. Leo Clear reads the ball very well and comes across and has the ball in his hand. So Leo opens the shoulders and a great high ball up by Leo Clear up as far as Joey Dial. Joey Mark and Daniel McKelvey here. Joey needs to get stuck in. And Dustin's so ball over the far side there as far as Paul Shanahan. Paul turns, strikes. Not there, Leo Clear. Leo Clear on the ball, needs to get over. Dustin pulls first time. And number 10, Connor Ryan again. Up and turns the ball, 7 8 to 1 1. So, good strike again by Paddy Eli down, down this side. Chris Dunn rises, doesn't get it, but ball breaks to Dennis Brolin. Dennis plays the ball through to Chris Dunn. A great ball by Dennis Brolin. Chris now on the ball. Chris turns, strikes, and saved there by the goalie, pa Robert Ryan, and out for 65. Good work there by Chris Dunn. So, 65 here, Chris Dunn and the ball. Eight minutes gone here in the second half. Silver Mines now dominant, but Chris Dunn, good score from 65. Uh, it's up 1 2 to 7 8. Score line now, to be fair, not, not reflective of this Mind Temple 2 team. And that's not to be forgotten. This team has done super to get this far. Winning a great mid final against Gartner Who. And a wide ball there by 
by your own grace. So Pakoli again with Paddy Eli comes out on this side looking for Chris Doyle. Chris puts up the hurry, does a, a great touch, Dennis Bullen got in front of him, but puts the ball in there to Joey Doyle. Joey doesn't get there, but Dennis, Dennis turns, Dennis now has the ball in his hand where he should have it. Has Conor Campion played a great ball across to Conor Campion, doesn't get it, and Jack Redden does very well, flicks the ball out in front of him, Jack. Turns, strikes across the field, looks for Conor Campion, Conor Campion has the ball, Conor turns, swings, ball is in. Chris put him under pressure, doesn't get there. The goalie does very well, Robert Ryan gets the ball out under serious pressure from Chris Dunn. Connor plays the ball, and a line ball going in there from Mind Templeton. So line ball comes back across this side of the field, just skips past Dennis Brolin, unfortunately, and a throw ball could be seen from here. Machine Ryan there guilty of the of the throw on the ground on the ball or on. And so, so Chris down here with the free. Chris down lifts strikes. Accurate, no one inside. Joey dial on the ball. Joey has the ball. Plays it back out there as far as as Chris Dunn and a. 65. So ball out for a 65. Good save there. Sorry, that, that free was initially in by Jack Redden, I think. So 65 this time. Connor Campion steps up to take this, this one. So Connor strikes up and over the bar. Good score by Connor Campion. One three to seven eight. Rogan lines here and Mark Campion warming up to come back onto the field. Another long puck out by Daniel McKelvey. Down the field finds Grace. Grace turns, strikes up and over the bar. For another score for Silver Mines. 11 minutes gone here in this half. Ball comes out there, Chris Dunn now, plenty of time in the ball. Puts a high ball in. Absolutely fantastic score by Chris Dunn. 1 4 7 9. Chris Dunn with a superb score here out on the sideline, you wouldn't see it anywhere else. And the ball comes down the field. Mary Kate, Eli over the far side. Mary Kate fighting Mary Kate having a super game. Giant captain Mary Kate puts the ball around. Ball comes back across the field. Paddy Eli does well. Paddy bats the ball out. Super, super defended by Paddy Eli. Finds Dennis Brolin. Dennis battled there by two. By two of them. Dennis still fighting for the ball. Dennis tough, bit of tough. Ball comes back across and wide. Time for the water break here in Boris Lee. 7 9 to 1 4. My table 2 eat. Doing well.
So, puck out again from Paddy Eli. Two more subs on there, Rogan Lines and Mark Camping both come back on the field, and Abby and Andrew Everard off the field. So, back again for the last 10 minutes. Great hook there by, by Chris Dunn. Chris does superbly well. Ball now with Jack Ilfile. Jack has the ball going forward. Has great ball out there to Connor Camping. Does extremely well. Connor doesn't even catch the ball. Strikes and just to the right hand wide. But a superb bit of play there. Great start to the to the final ten minutes of the game. So long ball down the field. Harley goes up, doesn't get there, and ball to the right and wide. So. Paddy Eli, puck out, see Dennis Ball in here, Dennis got out the ball, great puck out by Paddy Eli, and Paddy plays the ball back, great ball up by Dennis Ball and to, to Chris Dunn, Chris Dunn looks, plays it back over man's head, super bit of skill by Chris, Chris, great ball across there to Rogan, Rogan needs to get out there, but it's Jack Redden, come bursting through the middle, Jack turns and strike, super, super score by Jack Redden, 1-5 now from Mind Temple Tui, all that came from a super puck out by Paddy Eli to Dennis Ball and up to Jack Redden and ball goes over the bar from Jack Redden. Long ball down the field, back to Jack Redden, Jack gets, doesn't get it, wide ball again. So, great puck out again. Paddy live back for the puck out. Super puck out again by Paddy, Paddy goes to find Dennis, Dennis, Dennis does very well, get the ball up in his hand. Dennis fights, nearly gets the hook in, Dennis bowling. No fault there from Dennis. Leo Clear does very well. Gets the ball away. Working hard inside. Leo well able to miss it. And time up and left and wide. Ball looks fairly much wide from here. Umpire said over the bar, but I said the camera says different. Paddy Lai again. Puck out down this side here. Looking for Dennis Brolin. High, high ball though. Cut by the seven. Oshin Ryan. Great hook by Chris Dunn there. Chris finds Leo clear inside. Leo, the good touch this time. Well done, Leo. Leo turns strikes. Long ball down the field again. Joey Dylan and Mark Camping. But Joey and Mark inside looking to get the ball, but the ball just trickles out left and wide. About 14 minutes gone here. It's a puck out again by Daniel McKelvey. Daniel. Big strong man strikes long, but just too far and out over the sideline for a Mind Temple 2 line ball. Score line here is 7 9 to 1 5, but Mind Temple 2 fighting, fighting every two, every inch and nail back into this game. Great cut there by, by Rogan. Ball spills out there. Mark Hampton now getting into the into the thick of it. Does Dennis Brolin. He possessed the ball very well. Dennis settles himself, turns, strikes. Ball comes in. Joey, great goal by Joey Dial, or by Mark Campion. Great goal, sorry, goal there by Mark Campion. 2-5 to 7-9, super bit of play. Dennis, credit all has to go to Dennis Brolin. Intercepted the ball, crossed the square, and Mark Campion was there, quickest to get the ball. So, ball back down the field here. Wide ball there by number 10, Connor Ryan, after Leo. So, great bit of fight back here, great bit of spirit in, in the kids at this stage. Yeah. Push in the back there. So free free puck here this time. Um, Jack Gilfile. Gonna take this one. About 16 minutes on the on the clock, I think. Jack Gilfile, super strike in by Jack Gilfile. Jack goes up, ball bounces, doesn't come of it. And the ball comes away. Mary Kate Eli now down the far side. Mary Kate does very well, pushes the ball out in front of her. Ah, great block by Mary Kate again. Mary Kate does super work over the fast out. Well done to Mary Kate. Worked very hard over there. Tight on her man. It caused him to spill the ball out over the sideline. Line ball from Mind Temple 2. So 2-5 to 7-9. Silver Mines are lead, but Mind Temple 2 very much fighting back and not giving up in any in any sh way, shape or form and a credit to themselves. So Joey now fighting in here. So Joey he gets a block on, has to come back across again. They go for the block, don't get it, ball is struck in. And, and Jack Redden does very well, catches the ball and out, finds Connor Campion. Connor turns and strikes, has fallen. And a great ball in there to Mark Campion. Mark 
in a foot race in there. Mark will get there first. Mark bends his back, turned, and he goes towards goal. Great. Ball is still in play there, actually. Joey Dial. Joey gets in there. Chris Dunn stuck in the middle of it as well. Chris has the ball. Chris turns. Has time. Chris turns, strikes, and across the face of goal and wide. So about two minutes or so left to go in this game. Scoreline 7-9-2-5, but full credit to the Mind Temple 2 under-12 team here. Never give up. That's all anyone can ask. It's Dennis Boland. Serious pressure there. Leo goes to catches. Does enough to put off your man, Conor Ryan. Flicks the ball back there, Owen Grace, but Jack Redden catches it, turns, and another silver mine's goal. So Paddy Eli Long puck out on the far side. So Rogan puts him under pressure on the far side, does enough, does enough, and pushes him out, up and over, out over the line. minute or two is all that's left in this encounter. Our thanks as well to the coaches, Brian, Dermot, Dermot Fogarty, Mindy Dial, Pierce Everett. And thanks to all them for their work getting them mid-final, mid-under-12 champions, Group 2 champions. Nothing to be sneezed at. So, long ball on the field, Mary-Kate, Eli underneath it, Mary-Kate. Mary-Kate does well, does very well over there. Well done to Mary-Kate. Plays the ball out, but out as far as own grace, turn strikes and over the bar. So, Paddy Lai again, puck out down the side of the field. So, Chris done on the ball, Chris. Ball is it. Mark Hampton has the ball, plays out to Rogan lines, Rogan. Pulls in the ground, doesn't get it, goes a third time. Get in there. Connor Campion winds up for a shot, doesn't get there, saved. Full back gets in front of him, ball comes out to Ferris here, Chris Dunn goes to block, doesn't, Dennis Brolin has had a superb game here. And Dennis does extremely well to come across, gets the ball, still has the ball in his hands. Going to go through Tom McGrath, plays the ball out there, a great ball out into Rogan Lines. Rogan needs to turn and over the bar. Good score by Rogan Lines. 2 6 to 8 10. Substitution here again. Andrew Everett back on the field. So Jack Redden. Jack Redden had a storm of a game in there. Well done to Jack Redden, Jack Redden, outstanding game from start to finish, long puck out again down the field. Ball comes out, ball is whipped on. And a goal. So a long ball on the far side, great puck out again by Paddy Eli down to Connor Campion, Connor does very well, gets the ball, ball is missed by the Silver Mines defenders. Joey Dial there, flicks it into Chris Dunn, Chris has the ball, Chris looking for goal, great goal by Chris Dunn. Chris Dunn very well to get on top of the ball, scoreline there, 3-6 to 9-10. Credits, as I said, credits to the Mind Temple 2 lads, never give up. Whole way through, so a long ball again down the, f down the field, Mary-Kate Eli. Does very well, puts out the far side away from danger. And another long ball and a wide ball. So, puck out here. Paddy Eli, Paddy down the finds Connor Campion all on his own out the far side. Connor just slightly up over his head. And Connor does very well to get in there. And as it happens, turned out to be a silver mines line ball. Connor has put under a bit of pressure and out over the sideline. So time. Time almost up. Good line cut there by silver mines. Finds Mary Kate Eli. Mary Kate turns, doesn't get there. But does get back into the game. Credit to Mary Kate Eli. 
Outstanding game there from start to finish. Ball comes out, finds the great save by Paddy Eli in the Mind Temple Tubby goals. And Tom McGrath blows the final whistle here in Bursley. Scoreline of Silver Mines 9 10, Mind Temple Tubby 3 6. Um, well done to all for the never ever give up from 